Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we'll look at how we can resolve an issue you might run into when you're trying to remotely connect to an EC2 instance running on Amazon's uh, AWS. Now, the error that you could run into is this one right here, EC2 SSH permissions denied error. And uh, in order for me to demonstrate this, I'm going to launch an instance. Now, I'm on the the EC2 dashboard, and I'm just going to launch a free tier instance here. Uh, let me go with Ubuntu. And I'm going to create a key. I'm going to use this key to do the remote access. Let me call it my key. Create key. And the key has been created. So I'm just going to save this in a folder on my... Uh, computer and then I'm going to navigate to that folder. Now I'll be using PowerShell to do the remote access. And so this is where I've saved the key. Let me list. This is the key right here. Now in order for us to do the remote access, we just need the public IP and then we also use this key plus the public IP address. Now let me just let me move this and then let's go to let's launch the instance here and this is the instance so I'll click on it and then this is the ID I'll click on the ID so I can see the public IP it's right here I'm just going to copy this to the clipboard. I'm going to come back here. Now the command to remote access is ssh-i. Then here we'll need the key, my key, my key.pem, which should match this key right here. And then you have to put a username, and this could be the one of the causes of getting that error. Say, let's say I use root, and then I put in the IP that we copied and then I press enter to try and remote into it. So it's gonna present the key fingerprint and then it's gonna say pretty much if you I trust that host, I'm gonna say yes. And then it's gonna add that host. And as you can see here, it's actually giving me the, the correct username. So in, that, in some cases, you, you might get this message telling you what you should log in as, or you could just get that error message here, EC2 SSH permissions denied. Now, if I rerun the same command, and this time I use Ubuntu, I'm able to get into the uh, instance. Another way we can check what we need to type in as far as the user is concerned, if you go to this instance right here, so if, if you look at this instance right here, you have the connect option here. If you click on this option, and then under, under SSH client, you see that it tells you the process, open SSH client, and then locate your private key. And then you might, depending on what you're using, you might need to change the permissions of this file. And then it gives you the public DNS. You can use this to do the remote access or you can use the public IP. And then it gives you an example of the command to type ssh-i and then the key. And then this is the user Ubuntu. So that's the right user in this case. So depending on the instance, the user might change. So let's go ahead and launch a different instance see what it's showing as the username so this time let me go to ec2 dashboard and then launch instance and let me select amazon linux as the instance and then let me create a new key pair uh, let's say key 5 so we'll go get key five, create, we'll have that key. 
Now we we'll launch we we'll launch the instance. And let me open my and then key five is here. Now what and I can do is let me get the instance information. This is it right here. And this is the public IP. I'll copy it. And let's try the process this time. Let's do SSH dash I and um, T5 PDM. And then let's try root. Uh, then I put the public IP. Uh, yes, yes. And also in this case, it's it's also giving me the user saying to use ec2 dash user so we'll go with the, that ec2 and we're able to log in so in this case as you can see we are getting the error that comes it's telling us what we we are supposed to use as the user and this information as like I showed before we can find it under this so in your instance if you go to connect you should be able and then you go to and then you go to SSH client you should be able to, you should be able to see what user you're supposed to use when you're doing SSH connection so it's also saying here no in most cases the guest username is correct however read your ami usage instruction to to check if the ami owner has changed the default ami username so there could be cases where the username has changed so mostly in most cases that's the cause of getting the ec2 ssh permission denied error and under the example here, often you'll find what username you're supposed to use. So that's all for this video. I hope this has been uh, helpful. I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.